Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to Flame Rock. As you can see, this is one of the new places in Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon's Keep. Finally got that name right. Uh, yes. But today we're going to do a review on it. I actually finished it. So, um, I did it on normal. And I'm a level 61. And it still took three hours to get through it, even on normal. So, it's actually a pretty long DLC. The Queen, I'm probably going to show in another video, because it's just awesome. You, This is the least expected Queen. Oh yeah, here's Ellie. Ellie's actually a uh, part. And of course Moxie is, as you can see. Um, Dr. Zed has his own place, but, like, you don't actually see him. But, um, in this DLC, there's a lot of twists. A lot of twists, a lot of, a lot of stuff. Um, there's twists, um, puzzles, um, a lot of, um, a lot of Tiny Tina, because, as you can kind of tell by the name. Um, for me, I would actually give this DLC a 9.5 out of 10, because this is actually a really good detailed DLC with, uh, Tiny Tina mostly controlling your way to kill the sorcerer, um, which if you buy the DLC, um, you, um, you'll see who the sorcerer is. Um... A lot of good things in this DLC. A lot of good maps. Lots of, um, good weapons. Actually, when I was going through, um, a random guy just dropped the B shield. I got rid of it because I didn't really need it. The magic missile and the, uh, I think, fire bolt. I think I ha I got those. See, I got, um, where are they? See, uh, right there, I'll move it up for you. See the chain lightning, and then I get the fireball, and then the magic missile. They're all, like, level 34s and 35s. I don't, I just got them from my friends. But, yeah, like I said, detailed places, very good, good story. It's, it's actually really nice. As I said, a 9.5 out of 10. Um, if you guys like my videos or my reviews, um, please like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you guys in my next, probably, Tiny Tina, so on Dragon's Keep video. And, peace.